Hi guys, today we will be looking at verbs. What is a verb? A verb refers to actions, what things do, and states of being how things are. Types of verbs, action verbs, stative verbs, transitive verbs, intransitive verbs, linking verbs, helping verbs or auxiliary verbs, modal verbs, regular verbs, irregular verbs, phrasal verbs, infinitive verbs. Action verbs. An action verb tells what the subject of a sentence is doing. Action verbs can be used to express physical or mental actions. Some examples are ride, want, read, think, believe, help, call, jump. Pat and Sam ride the train to home every afternoon. Van wants a computer for her birthday. Mikhail reads a chapter in his book each day. Do you think it will rain today? I believe in dragons and ghosts. Will you help me with my project? Please call your dad. The chicken jumped across the road. Stative verbs. Stative verb expresses a state rather than an action. Stative verbs relate to thoughts, emotions, relationships, senses, states of being or measurements. Some examples are relating to thoughts and opinions you have, agree, believe, doubt, guess, imagine, know, mean, recognize, remember, suspect, think, understand. Now relating to feelings and emotions, dislike, hate, like, love, prefer, want, wish, related to senses and perceptions, appear, be, feel, hair, look, see, seem, smell, taste. Related to possession and measurement. Belong, have, measure, own, possess, weigh. I have a new computer. Do you see any difficulties with that? This mango tastes awful. I love this bed. Transitive verbs. A transitive verb is a verb that refers to an object to receive the action. Transitive verbs express action and are followed by a direct object, thing or person that receives the verb's action. Now let us look at this example. The speaker discussed different teaching styles at the conference. That is correct. Now let us look at this sentence. The speaker discussed 
at the conference. Now, this sentence is incorrect. The verb discuss requires an object. Different teaching style. It is necessary to state what the speaker discussed. Some examples are address, eight, borrow, buy, bring, discuss, have, hug, feed, gave, raise, loaded, left, offer, pay, praise, promise, tease, took, send, want, washed, write. Some examples of transitive verbs in a sentence. The transitive verb is in bold and the direct object is underlined in each sentence. Grace sent a gift from Japan. Omar left the books on the chair. Devereaux took me to the movies for my birthday. Please buy me a phone. His dog ate pear off the table. Makai washed the dishes after lunch. Jones loaded the machine for my mom. Intransitive verbs. And intransitive verb doesn't take an object. Using an object immediately after an intransitive verb will make an incorrect sentence. For example, the teacher arrived at the hostel in Kingston. This sentence is correct. However, listen to this one. The teacher arrived Kingston. This sentence is incorrect because the verb can't take an object. Some examples are arrived, chaired, grew, Leaves, vote, sit, increase, laughed, originate, play, fluctuate, trend, talked, slept, walked, work. The bus sometimes leaves late on Friday. To get to the park, she walked. At the show, they chaired. We play inside. Juba slept all day. He grew up to become a scientist. We talked for hours. I work for a small private school in UK. Linking verbs. A linking verb is a verb that serves as a connection between a subject and further information about that subject. Linking verbs do not show any action. They link the subject with the rest of the sentence. The verb to be is the most common linking verb. Examples of linking verbs. Am, is, was, are, were, been, been, be, have, has, had, do, does, did, shall, will, should, would, may. Might, must, can, could, can be, could be, will be, would be, shall be, should be, 
may be, might be, must be, has been, have been, had been. I am glad it is Friday. Samira is excited about her new bike. My birds are hungry. The truck was extremely fast. The car smells like the ocean breeze. Joy feels a bit sick today. The boys were outside when the storm hit. Helping verbs are auxiliary verbs. A helping verb or auxiliary verb is used with a main verb to help express the main verb's tense, mood, or voice. The main helping verbs are to be, to have, to do. They appear in the following forms. To be, am, is, are, was, were, been, been, will be. To have, has, have, had, having, will have. To do, does, do, did, will do. Does Roy write all his own reports. The nurses haven't written all the emails yet. Andrine is writing a letter to a client now. Modal verbs shows possibility, probability, advice, intent, ability, or necessity. Are a type of auxiliary verb, helping verb. They are used together with the key verb of the sentence. Common examples include can, should, must, could, may, might, will, would, must, shall, ought to. You must go when the traffic lights turn green. I can read, when I was younger, I could swim fast. It may rain today. I might go on holiday to J Jamaica next month. You should look over your lesson. He ought to be very tired. Regular verbs. Regular verbs form their past and past participle forms by adding D or ED. For example, I will be looking at the present, then past, then past participle. Walk, walked, walked. Paint, painted, painted. Work, worked, worked. Dance, danced, danced. Accept, accepted, accepted. Act, acted, acted. Bake, baked, baked. Close, closed, closed. Compare, Compared, compared. Behave, behaved, behaved. Compete, competed, competed. Die, died, died. Disagree, disagreed, disagreed. Disturbed, disturbed, disturbed. Dress, dressed, dressed. Dry, dried, dried. Eliminate, eliminated, eliminated. End, ended, 
ended. Enjoy, enjoyed, enjoyed. Fix, fixed, fixed. Follow, followed, followed. Fry, fried, fried. Greet, greeted, greeted. I had already completed my English homework. She learned ballet in her childhood. I asked for permission from my father to go swimming with Daniel. He moved his bike to give a path for my van to park. He smashed the gate by hitting on it. They kicked a tennis ball very high in the sky. Irregular verbs. Irregular verbs form their past or past participle form in different ways. There are mainly three types of irregular verbs. Verbs in which all the three forms present past, past participle are the same. For example, put, put, put. Verbs in which two of the three forms present past, past participle are the same. For example, sit, sat, sat. Verbs in which all three forms present past, pres past participle are different. For example, drink, Drunk, drunk. Some examples are, I will be looking at the past, the past tense, and the past participle. Be, was or were, been. Begin, begun, begun. Break, broke, broken. Buy, bought, bought. Build, built, built. Come, came, come. Cut, cut, cut. Do, did, done. Draw, drew, drawn. Drive, Drove, driven. Eat, ate, eaten. Find, found, found. Get, got, got. Give, gave, given. Go, went, gone. Have, had, had. Keep, kept, kept. No, knew, known. Leave, left, left. Let, let, let. Lose, lost, lost. Make, made, made. Mean, meant, meant. Pay, paid, paid. Run, ran, run. Say, said, said. See, saw, seen. Sell, sold, sold. Send, sent, sent. Sit, sat, sat. Speak, spoke, spoken. Stand, stood, stood.
take, took, taken. Teach, taught, taught. Tell, told, told. Think, thought, thought. Understand, understood, understood. Wear, wore, worn. Write, wrote, written. Kevin stole my purse. She made a very delicious carrot cake. He broke the window. I fed all the cats. She sent a long email. She got on the bus late this afternoon. Talia has had a very bad headache for a few days. Phrasal verbs. Phrasal verbs are phrases that indicate actions. Phrasal verbs are made up of a verb plus a proposition. A verb plus an adverb. A verb plus an adverb plus proposition. For example, look up, look after, look forward to. Some other examples are blow up, bring up, call off, do over, fill out, fill up, find out, give away, give back, hand in, hang up, hold up. Leave out, look over, look up, make up, make out, pick out, pick up, point out, put away, put off, put on, put out, read over. Set up, take down, take off, talk over, throw away, try on, try out, turn down, turn up, turn off, turn on, use up. Be sure to put on a life jacket before getting into the ship. We left out the package for pickup. It's time to get on the helicopter. What will Howard think up next? I'm having some trouble working out the solution to this problem. We're going to have to put off our vacation until next week. Stand up when speaking in the hall, please. They'll have to wake up early if we want to work out. Infinitive verbs. An infinitive verb is basically the base form of a verb with the word to in front of it. When you use an infinitive verb, the to is a part of the verb. Some examples are to be, to dream, to have, to hold, to look, to read, to write, to sleep, to throw, to want. I want to be a teacher. Terry dares to dream about having a house. We're going to have a baby girl. Do you want to hold the kitten? 
I'm afraid to look at the messy hall. The third graders are learning to read codes this week. I'm planning to write an email to the company. It's time to sleep. If Joe doesn't get his way, he's going to throw a tantrum. It's natural to want your family to win. Thank you very much, everyone. I really hope this video was helpful. Please note that you can look in the description and you will find many more videos that will help you with grammar. And also, there are other videos that will help you with reading. Please remember to subscribe. Bye!